Now this, this is a sacred image. If you're new to this channel, I basically have been obsessed with Sonic's design over the past two years. It started with a very authentic best design retrospective I made. It was just my way of expressing my love for the character, specifically in the intro of Sonic CD. And as I knew a movie was eventually coming, I thought it might be a topic that gained some traction in the future. My prediction was most definitely correct. This still astounds me. Following these videos, I couldn't predict how much of a turn Sonic would take for the worst. He literally took a supersonic plummet into the deep fires of social media. That's no good. The movie leaks followed and they weren't looking too fresh. These were followed by an even bigger shock and one of the most horrific reveals of a character redesign since, well, Sonic Boom. The movie looked horrendous straight off the bat purely because of Sonic's ugly humanoid teethy gerbil rat Alvin and the Chipmunk style monstrosity of a character design and the internet did its thing. It exploded. Memes, anger, redesigns, memes, anger, memes, anger, redesigns, confusion, memes, anger, 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 did I mention anger? Journalists and YouTubers all over had a field day with this design, me included. I've since had a redesign myself, as my head looks a bit like a rodent. One film delay and an apology from the film's director later, and we had a promise of a redesign on our hands. All Sonic fans rejoiced with a level of positivity that could quite easily turn the other direction. Nobody wanted any more mistakes, nobody wanted this. Now, it's been quiet, but over the past month or so, leaks have started to come into the public eye yet again. Two images appeared, both appearing to be from promotional posters and press material, in a similar way to the original leaks of the bad design. I posted one of them on my community page, and that was going to be as far as I went. I thought these were massive improvements to the original, and I was happy to leave it there and wait for the trailer. But today, whilst browsing Twitter, I saw this new leak, and it's blown my mind. I simply have to talk about it straight away. I believe it was discovered originally by the user at Snidey McCool Guy. Thank you. This looks like another leaked bit of press material. Potentially, it's the design of a standee that you find at a cinema. There's no surrounding graphic and the picture and hashtag that supports it, I think pretty much confirms that. I've taken the liberties to make this render look a little bit more accurate for the purpose of this video, though forgive me as it's not my uh, forte. I'm gonna cut that down. Sonic has been returned to a much more traditional look, and key changes include a shorter physique, his chest is the right colour, he's wearing gloves, thank god, his trainers have been made incredibly authentic to the classic, and his eyes. While they are still separate entities, as opposed to classic Sonic's plate head of pupils, they are much bigger and far less harrowing than the previous look that horrified us all. Overall, his form is much more similar to his classic look and feel. You can see the attitude and there is no doubt in my mind that this is Sonic the Hedgehog presented in a semi-realistic tune-like way. Also, the spines actually look really, really good. If this is real, and I really think it is, this design is absolutely excellent, and I can't wait to see it in motion in a new trailer. I really hope it lives up to my new expectations. In a way, it really fuels the fire in this crazed fan theory that the original design was a publicity stunt, bad for the sake of being bad, because the amount of traction that the original trailer caused, negative or not, spread a massive amount of word about the movie but I still personally believe that it was unintentional. When I've mentioned this topic before, I've mentioned Tyson Hess on many occasions. His redesigns for the character have been great, and following the movie redesign announcement, it seems obvious that he's had some kind of involvement. I'm just gonna stick these images side by side, and if that's not confirmation that he's helped on this movie, I don't know what is. So that's it from me, but what do you think of the redesign? I'm sure many of you will still hate the blue arms, but let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, it's much appreciated. Check back soon for a best character design retrospective on none other than Crash Bandicoot. There are lots of other characters represented on the channel too, as well as videos on a number of other topics. As always, a big shout out goes to my patrons who help make these character design videos happen, with a special thank you going to Top Hat Gaming Man and Michael Douglas Slay. 
Blade, who are donating at the top tier of donations. If you'd like to help support the channel too, please just head on over to my Patreon, it's much appreciated. 